Logic zero, example 27.4, another example of a proof in two steps requiring a rule of equivalence. Okay, so we'll have uh, this proof. Okay, it's going to be in two steps. I told you that. Um, and you'd be given the problem looking like this. Okay, so we need to figure out how to get from this premise to this conclusion. And evidently, we are told that it can be done in two steps. Uh, using the rule of implication, we can get to line two. So let's take a look at the rule of implication. So rule of implication here. Notice that we can go from the right hand side to the left hand side. So we can take P to be equivalent to A and B to be equivalent to Q. Okay, so that's pretty straightforward. We're just going to go from this side of the rule to this side of the rule, and we can get uh, A only if B. All right, so that's from line one by implication. But we want to get not B only if not A. And we can get there using the rule of contraposition. So we can get there by using this rule. All right, so not or, or A only if B, that's like P only if Q, we flip it and we negate both. So this can become not B only if not A. And that's just from line two by contraposition. And we're done. That's what we wanted to prove. All works nicely.